I walked to a large institution instead of mowing the lawn today. I knocked on the doors of this institution. I told the intercom I would like to reserve a place. The institution said it was not financially able to create a place for me within itself. I walked home. The lawnmower was broken. I cut the lawn by hand with a pair of elementary school plastic scissors. This morning I woke up and felt pretty good about my ability to be a person in the United States of America. A blue piece of wool asked if I was a customer of the faith. I told him I didn't want to buy any church wool. All the girls at the skating rink were jealous of my lentil-sized purse, bejeweled with gold teeth and barnacle crumbs. Everyone and the entire human race was wearing a striped shirt yesterday. I started smoking cigarettes because I heard that smoking cigarettes would give me the ability to grow objects in my mind. But then when I tried to grow a helicopter out of my head, the helicopter was made of cheese. When I turned 50, I signed up for Little League. I watched a snowman pee in a sink and then eat my donuts. A vacuum cleaner was depressed about the amount of housework left in the world, so it woke up early and went for a walk. The bird with red fur looked at the tree branch and asked it why it was wearing a hat and mittens. A famous short man went to an office supply store to return his color printer. But the office supply store was bankrupt, so the famous short man took off his hat and stood on it until the hat turned to dirt. On the way to the high fructose corn syrup store, I found a half-eaten credit card, an empty box of matches, a grocery list in Spanish, a container of Jolly Ranchers filled with orange peels, and the soft noise of someone three feet behind me pretending to drool on themselves. The man with no mouth in his face looked at me while I fed cream soda to one of the squirrels in the park. All the puddles that used to live in the mall were removed last Saturday and have been living in a shed down by the courthouse. The smoked salmon lying on the bookshelf said, I hope that I will live to be 100 and that I learn to accept responsibility for humanity's inability to admit their utter failure. I stood in the lobby bathroom of a large building yesterday and took pictures of every businessman before he went into one of the stalls to remove his modern belief in global responsibility. Our human emotions support the idea of less communication, but we have yet to figure out how to live outside our own skin. This morning I woke up in a whale because I decided last night that I wanted to know what it felt like to sleep in a whale.